guys, this is Gina, Archangel Art Studio, and I am going to do a alcohol ink Petri dish. Um, I did one yesterday, and I absolutely love it. There it is, and it's a 13 by 9, and somebody had asked if I made a video of how I did it, and I didn't, so I said I would, so that's what I'm doing. And I'm trying some new alcohol ink. It's Pearl, Alcohol Pearl by Ranger, and I don't know how it's going to work because I've never used it, and it's got the little ball in it, so I'm hoping it doesn't do like gold and I'll float on the top, but I'm using Enchanted. And villainous and envy, and then just a regular one, stonewashed because I wanted a blue. And then I've got my white, and if I've got too much resin mixed for this, I have a pyramid I'm gonna do. So let me get these shook up because it all settles on the bottom. And of course, I'm using Pro Glass Resin, and I'll put a link to it in the description. If you use that link, you can get 10% off, and it is already very reasonable, so that's a really good deal. And let me shake my white. Something I learned when you're doing a Petri dish and using the white, shake it really well or it just doesn't work as good. So, let's get started. I've already pre-mixed my resin, and I'm pouring it out, and I don't think I'm gonna have enough for the pyramid. I think I mixed just enough to do this Petri dish. Yep. Yay, okay, so I know the Petri dish takes six ounces. Okay, and you can probably see some little color in my dish, but it's on the other side. It's not on this side, so it's good. And let's get the bubbles popped. And on the big Petri dish, I didn't spend enough time popping my bubbles, which it still looks good, but you can just see little teeny air bubbles in certain places. Um, I don't know if you can see them, but they're there. Anyway, I still like it. I think it's gorgeous. But air bubbles are not your friend when you're doing something that's going to have some clear background. So, and I try to get them all popped before I start putting the ink in because it's alcohol ink and I really don't want to set anything on fire. And this settles quick, so I'm going to have to keep shaking it. I'm looking, I can still see bubbles. And funny story, I've got long hair. And the past two times I was down here working with resin, I got the end of my hair in it. And I swore I was never gonna wear my hair down again to work on resin, and here it is, down. So, I don't learn from my mistakes, do I? Okay, that looks like most of the bubbles are out. There's a couple. And they'll keep coming to the top and popping until they're all popped if you get it warm enough. But you don't want to scorch it, so. 
have to be careful. Okay, we're going to call it done. So let me shake these again. And here we go. Simple Petri dish. And I think I'll start with the Enchanted. And all you do, uh, it's like, all you do is drop it. You don't have to have any kind of pattern or anything, just drop it. And then after you've dropped it, you go behind with white. Well, wow, that is really translucent. I don't think I want white on the first. Normally you drop white after every color, but this is so translucent. I don't want to put white just yet. And it may not work, but we'll see. I'm going to do the green. Let's try dropping green in there. Now put some white. Whoa! <laughs> I think I must have had a little clog. Wasn't that awesome? That's gonna be a mess. Oh yeah. But don't do that. Don't squirt a whole bunch in one spot, please. Just put a couple drops where you've put the color. And you see how it spreads out? That's gonna be a big clump of white. Ugh. I wonder if I can get that off. Oh, let's try. Nope. Okay, leave it be. It is what it is. And now purple. And you don't have to always put your ink on top of the other spots, but that's what I do. Because I like the effect it gives. And you can put it in the bare spots too and just however you want to do it. There's no right way or wrong way as long as you use the white and the ink alternating. It's your piece. You do what you want. But I can tell you that gold and silver do not work in these very well. Um, and here's why. You can't really see gold in this one, and I used a lot. It's because it all floats to the top. This was the top. All floats and pools at the top. Doesn't show up on the bottom. So, don't waste your gold. Now, let's try some blue. And the blue is not pearl, it's just regular. I just got the pearl ones today. I found them and thought, ooh, those are gonna be shimmery and pretty and I wanna try them. And I got them at Hobby Lobby. And they were $13.99 with a 40% off coupon. That's why I love Hobby Lobby. Because I can get one thing and save 40%. And I know they don't have Hobby Lobbies everywhere. But I love Hobby Lobby. I also love Amazon. I love shopping online. I don't particularly like shopping out in the store because I have no patience. So I'm hoping this turns out beautiful. I don't know why they named these things like they did. I mean, 
envious and villainous. Those sound evil. And these aren't evil looking colors. These are pretty. But anyway. What is this one again? Envy. Well, I can understand that. Green with envy. And it's crazy when you're looking at it, you can just see straight through the resin. It's like, wow, there's going to be absolutely no color here. Of course, I've never used these. There may be no color when I'm done. But we'll find out tomorrow when I unmold it. Right, right. There's a blank spot. Let's put some green. I love that reaction. It's how it moves and reacts with the other. I think it's just neat. And you can see I'm only doing one drop. And it just spreads out. And you can leave these just like you're doing it or when you're finished you can take a stick and do some swirls and I think I'm gonna swirl this one a little bit or maybe not <laughs> since I'm using these new inks maybe I won't just to see what it looks like and then next time I'll swirl it but anyway I have done petri dishes before and when I'm finished putting my color in, I take like a, a real skinny stir stick or a pointy one and just go with some swirls through it. And that's really good looking, or I think it is. And I think these would be so cool to hang up like sun catchers. And I guess you could drill a hole in the top and hang a chain through it. And that would be awesome. And I think I might do that with this one. I've just never drilled a hole through resin, so I don't want to mess anything up. And I can just hear Billy too. You got my drill. Don't you know to leave power tools alone? Hmm. And then I would be like, honey, when have I ever listened? I'm a little bit on this. Oh, it would help if I put the lid on. I don't know if you saw that. Ah! I guess you can see that. I just spilled ink everywhere because I didn't have the lid on good. Boy. Paper towels. There they are. But one good thing about alcohol ink is with a little bit of alcohol, it comes right up. But I hate I wasted all this ink. That's what I get for not checking my lid. Fuck. Clean this up. Billy's going to see this video and go, look what you did to my table. And I'm going to say, um, yeah, I cleaned it. You can't even tell it's there. You wouldn't have known if you hadn't watched the video. Sorry for the technical difficulty here. I got to get this cleaned up. And you can see I'm only wearing one glove because I only plan to use one hand to do this. And, ha, joke's on me. All right, get his new. He'll never know. Right? Right. This looks like it's going to be so pretty. I hope so. Springy colors, too. Usually, I like 
jewel colors, the deep, rich blues and turquoise and golds. And it really bugs me that you can't get gold alcohol ink to work in resin because I love it, but you can't. And I've tried and I'm done trying because I've wasted so much. So if anyone out there can tell me how to get gold or silver alcohol ink, to come through in resin and not all pull on the top here, please put it in the comments because I really want gold and silver in my pieces. And I think I'm going to do another blue and that's it. Or do I want blue? Do I want blue? Yeah. more white and you don't really have to use the white like I said but with these new inks I'm going to use it just to see but I have done them before with very little white because sometimes the white can be too much and they turned out pretty good so but that's it now it'll just sit and do its thing and we'll come back in 24 hours, pop it out of the mold, and I'll show you what it looks like. And it looks like I got the bubbles out. So yeah, we're done. See you in 24 hours. Hey guys, we're back and I'm going to unmold this now. The top looks really cool, or the bottom. That'll be the bottom. So let's see what it looks like. And there it is. The pearls are very subtle, not a lot of color. Like this one is so colorful. I love this one absolutely love it but the pearls are just a softer and I like this one fine if you look really close you can see the detail and it's pretty but that's how you have it that's I mean that's how you do it I think I like this side better what do you think side a or side B Leave a comment. Tell me what you like. And I know you all probably are wondering why Billy hasn't been putting out many videos. Um, he had a major back surgery about eight or nine years ago. He had L4-5 fusion and some rods and plates put in. And he's done really well up until about the past month. And the hardware has shifted and it's causing him a lot of pain and uh, the doctor said there's nothing they can do except go in and take those plates and screws out and put more in and fuse another disc and he's not gonna do that so we're just trusting and having faith that it's all going to work out. So he's been in some pain. Uh, not sleeping well because of it. So that's why he hasn't been putting out a lot of videos. But he's still doing his art. And just not as much of it. And he'll be back to putting out videos soon. Because I know my husband. He's a trooper. So anyway, all the prayers, all the good vibes you can send his way those would be greatly appreciated 
And until next time, when I'm going to finish the vases that I started, later tater.